Hey guys, today we are going to be looking at interest with savings and debt and how it grows. And we're gonna talk about how you can use this to your advantage. So there is a difference between interest with savings and interest with loans. If you save your money, then you earn money from the interest for letting the bank borrow your money. So you're gonna get your money that you originally put in there plus something extra. However, if you borrow money from a bank for a large purchase, such as a house or a car, this is a loan, and you will pay more because you're gonna pay back what you borrowed plus interest that you were charged by the bank for borrowing the money. So this is why it's important to understand how interest grows so you can use it to your advantage. You wanna make sure that you save money and earn that extra interest, but you wanna be careful about borrowing money because you're gonna have to pay back interest. So remember, these are the two formulas, simple and compound interest. And remember, whenever we are comparing, we have to compare the same thing, either the interest for both of them or the total amount for both of them. We cannot just plug in the formulas and compare because that compares interest and total amount and those are not the same thing. So let's look at this first one. It says Oliver is buying a new car for $20,000. He's going to borrow the money with a car loan and his options are shown below. Loan A is 48 months and has a simple interest rate of 6%. Loan B is 72 months and has a simple interest rate of 5%. Which loan is a better deal? Did this loan have a lower loan length or interest rate? So let's compare for the interest on both of these. Because he's taking out the same amount of money, he's gonna have to pay back the $20,000. We want to see which one has the lower interest that he's gonna have to pay back though. So let's start with loan A. 48 months, simple interest, and we have a rate of 6%. And both of them have that $20,000 principle. So loan A is simple interest, which is I equals PRT. And remember, we're just comparing the interest on both of these, so that is all we will have to do. The principal is the $20,000 for the car. The rate on loan A was 6% or 0 0.06. And then the time was 48 months but we have to divide it by 12 because we need our formula, the time has to be in years. So it's actually four years. So now I can find the interest. I just do PRT, so 20,000 times the rate of 0 0.06 times the time of four. That will tell me the interest. 20,000 times 0 0.06 times four the interest on that first loan will be $4,800. So four years, 6% interest rate, the interest is $4,800. So let's look at loan B. Loan B is longer, it's 72 months, but we have a lower interest rate of 5%. And it's still simple interest. So let's see how that is going to affect if it's going to be more or less than the $4,800 interest with loan A. So loan B is still simple interest. It'll still be I equals PRT. The principal is still $20,000. The rate is 5% this time. It's a little bit lower, which is 0 0.05. And then the time is longer, it's 72 months. And I'll divide that by 12 to figure out the number of years. So 72 divided by 12 is six. And now I plug in to find the interest. So 20,000 times 0 0.05 times six is $6,000. So even though the interest rate was lower with loan B, the interest still ended up being higher 
because it was longer. It said, which loan is a better deal? Did this have a lower loan length or interest rate? So loan A was a better deal. It had a higher interest rate, but lower length. It was 48 months versus 72 months. Okay, let's look at number two. It says, Jeremy is planning on investing $15,000 into his retirement account soon. Depending on when he invests, he will go with one of the following options. Account C yields at 4.5% annual compound interest for 10%. Account D yields a 4.25% annual compound interest rate for 15 years. Is it smarter for Jeremy to invest his money in account C or account D? Did this account have a higher interest rate or length of time? So Jeremy has $15,000 and he's trying to decide which one is going to um, give him more money. So again, we can just compare the interest here. because he's gonna have the same principle on both of them. We're trying to figure out which one is going to make him more money. So let's start with account C. It has a 4.5% compound interest rate for 10 years. So account C is compound interest which is A equals P times one plus R to the T. And then remember we are comparing interest, how much these accounts are gonna earn. So we'll have to subtract out the principal second. So I'll need P, R, and T. The principal on both of these will be $15,000. That's how much he has to invest. And the rate will be 4.5% which is a decimal is 0 0.045 and account C he would invest for 10 years. So to find the compound interest first, I have to find the total amount. I'll do 15,000 times one plus 0 0.045 to the 10th. So 15,000 times one plus 0 0.045 to the 10th. And that account will end up with 23,294.54. But remember, we are comparing the interest. So to find the interest, I'm going to subtract the principal from that. So I will take the 23,294.54 and subtract 15,000 from it. So 23294.54 minus 15,000. Account C will earn Jeremy $8,294.54 in interest. Okay, let's look at the other account. Account D yields a 4.25% annual compound interest rate for 15 years. So compound interest, we will do the same combination of formulas. We'll find the total amount, and then we will subtract out the principal. And I'll need principal, rate, and time. The principal was 15,000. The rate on account D is 4.25%. So 0.0425. And then this one he would invest for 15 years. So 15,000 
1,000 times 1 plus 0.0425 to the 15th. Let's see the total in the account. To the 15th power. Okay, so the total in that account will be 28000 and four dollars and 78 cents but remember i need to find the interest so i have to subtract the principal back out from that so i'm going to subtract out fifteen thousand dollars and twenty eight thousand four dollars minus fifteen thousand is thirteen thousand $4.78. I forgot to type that. Okay, so let's go and see what the question was asking for. It says, is it smarter for him to invest his money in account C or account D? Did this account have a higher interest rate or length of time? So account C would earn him about $8,000 in interest and account D would earn him $13,000. So obviously account D is better. And account D actually had a little bit lower of an interest rate, but if you notice, the time was five years higher. So we gave the money more time to grow and account D was the better deal. Account D, you can just say more time equals more money. Okay, I will work out example three on the completed notes, but I'm not gonna do it on the video, so just looked at the completed notes page if you would like to see that one worked out. Okay, number four says Jack is going to take out a loan to buy a new RV camper. He tells you he is going to go with the loan that offers him the lowest interest rate no matter what. What else would you tell Jack he should consider when taking out a loan? So if you look at these last two examples, the loan that was a better deal or earned the less interest had a higher interest rate, but the time was lower. Same thing here, lower time, lower interest. And remember with a loan, you don't wanna pay that much interest because you're paying it back. So Jack should also look at the time, not just the interest rate. 